Okay, welcome to another one of my videos where I like to expose the frauds. Now there's another free energy device on YouTube. It's labeled as a free energy magnet generator or an over unity device. And now you have to understand the reason why I put these videos together is not because I personally believe they work. It's because I want to prevent people from wasting their time and money by trying to duplicate some of the circuits that they see on YouTube. And the only way for me to do that is by duplicating it exactly as I saw online. So you could see that it does or does not work. In this case, it does not work. So you know that you don't have to try duplicating it. And I looked at the video online that the individual uploaded and I did a very careful look at his schematic. I saw exactly how the windings went through the core as well as how many turns went through the core. Now the capacitors are what you see here. This yellow capacitor, it's an AC capacitor. That's a 0.47 microfarad. I tried several different values. I've tried a 220 nanofarad, which is a 0.22, and I tried a 0.19, and I even tried a 0.63, so I can confirm that the values are not going to make a difference. The blue is the same value as the yellow, just a different rating and a different manufacturer. I also made sure the diodes are positioned properly. If you look here, both are facing in the same direction, according to his video. And I also used an incandescent 12 volt lamp. This one draws less current than the one he used in his video. Now the only thing, these diodes you see here are 1 amp. He used a 3 amp diode. That doesn't make any difference. I tried several different types of diodes. I tried the 1N400 series. I tried fast diodes. I tried ultra fast diodes as well as Schottky diodes. And the one you see here is an ultra fast rectifier diode, a 1 amp. The core I made I cut it out of a laminated iron core, bolted it together, precision cut on the magnet, that's a neodymium. Actually this turned out much nicer than what you saw in the other person's video. More professional looking, neat. So let's give it a try and see what's actually going on here. Now to show you that the battery is a good battery, because sometimes people will say, oh he's using a, a battery that's dead, it might be a trick. So look at the meter. Touch the probes. If there was a battery hidden inside the meter to show 9 volts, when I do this you would see it. Nothing. We're going to check the battery's voltage. Show you that it is 9 plus. We have 966. Okay. This bulb definitely has a good filament in it. And the windings are going the exact same way. Same number of turns. I use 14 gauge wire. Now according to the individual, as soon as you touch the, in his case, he did the negative to this side a few times, you should get the magnetism going and have the light light up. So let's give it a try. And as you can see, you don't see anything going on with that bulb. And I got news for you, you are never going to see anything going on with that bulb because it is another YouTube scam video. Unfortunately, they put these videos out there in order to get people to view their videos so they can make money on the views as well as try and find investors that they can scam. If a circuit like this actually worked, there would be lots of devices that would not require batteries or only require the battery to get it started and then once it's started you no longer have a need for your battery and of course as I said in my other videos the person would not be placing the video on YouTube instead they would be seeking the assistance of a patent attorney to get this idea patented so they can make some real money off the invention so it is a scam that's for sure you can't make it any nicer than the way I made it everything is precise and more than likely the way the individual did it inside one of these capacitors here they probably popped it out of the plastic housing 
and possibly hid a lipo battery, which is a lithium polymer. They're very strong. You can hide them in here, and you can get the circuit to power up that way to light up the incandescent lamps. Or there's a coil underneath the table or hidden in the floor, and this is being powered through induction. So it is absolutely 100% a fraud. Save your time and money, and do not try duplicating it. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you.